Number 9. Giant African Land Snail The internet is littered with photographs of giant African land snails that make them look much bigger than they actually are, owing to a concept called forced perspective. But their large size isn't entirely an optical illusion. As one of the largest terrestrial gastropods on Earth, African land snails grow up to 8 inches or 20 centimetres long, about the size of an adult fist, and between 2.7 and 3.9 inches or 6.9 to 10 centimetres tall. While some people may find this horrifying, many think that the species is cute in its own bizarre way. But if you're one of those people and you live in the US, don't get any ideas about owning one as a pet. Not only is it illegal in many states to own one, caring for these creatures is extremely difficult because it's imperative to make sure that they don't breed. But it's also extremely hard to stop this from happening because the species is hermaphroditic, meaning individuals possess all the equipment necessary to procreate without a partner, with each snail laying up to 1,200 eggs every year. Imagine having one snail, then out of nowhere, you have 1,200! The giant African land snail is also considered one of the world's 100 most harmful invasive species. With an appetite for over 500 different plants, they are the opposite of picky eaters and can cause extensive damage to crops and agriculture. Populations have proven problematic in Hawaii and Florida, where they arrived in 1936 and 1966. The Florida government spent a decade and over a million dollars eradicating the invasive species, only for it to reappear in 2011. Not only is the snail giant, they cause giant problems too. 8. Golden Gate Bridge Spanning the 1 mile or 1.6 kilometer strait that connects the San Francisco Bay to the Pacific Ocean, the Golden Gate Bridge was built in just over four years' time between 1933 and 1937. At the time of its completion, it napped the record for the longest bridge span in the world, with the distance between supports measuring 4,200 feet, or about 1,080 meters. It also had the tallest towers out of any bridge on Earth, measuring 746 feet, or 227 meters, above the water, and 500 feet, or 152 meters, above the road. Since then, the Golden Gate Bridge has been far surpassed in size, but as one of the most recognizable bridges worldwide, it remains iconic in its own right. And at a total length of 8,981 feet, or 2,737 meters, it's far from small. Laid on its side, the Eiffel Tower could fit across the bridge at least nine times over. Bumper to bumper, it could hold 249 school buses from one end to the other. The Golden Gate Bridge is also extremely heavy, at 840 million pounds, or 382 million kilos, it's heavier than the Empire State Building. Supporting all that weight requires thick cables, with each measuring over 3 feet, or 1 meter in diameter. Each cable contains over 27,500 wires, which would wrap around the planet over three times if arranged in one continuous length, according to GoldenGate.org. When the Verrazano Bridge connecting the New York City boroughs of Staten Island and Manhattan opened in 1964, it surpassed the Golden Gate as the world's longest suspension bridge by a mere 60 feet, or 18.3 meters. While the pair still hold the top two positions for the title in the US, they have been superseded globally by at least nine bridges. 7. Food Portions for many of us, watching our food intake and our figure is a constant uphill battle, and with all the conflicting, dieting advice out there, it's easy to misunderstand what we should and shouldn't do. For example, many people don't know the difference between a serving size and a portion size. A serving size is based on a standard measure, while a portion size is the amount of food you consume in a meal, which often constitutes more than one serving. On top of all that confusion, scientific evidence shows that people are inherently bad at gauging appropriate serving sizes and that we tend to overeat. Not shocking, I know, but bear with me. Simply put, studies have essentially proven that the more we are served, the more we eat. But this isn't entirely our fault because the decision to overindulge is not always a conscious one. In our minds, an oversized portion may not seem like too much, and it may not seem much different compared to a smaller portion. So what's the takeaway from all this? Well, for one thing, looks can be deceiving. 
and research shows that being mindful of our portions plays a major role in combating obesity, so it's best not to eyeball it when it comes to how much we eat. Are you totally going to keep an eye on your portions for maybe the rest of the day? And hey, who knows, maybe tomorrow too? Let me know in the comments below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons too. 6. Traffic Lights From below, a traffic light looks small enough to pick up and carry, right? But this simply isn't the case, and a study featured in the Journal of Vision in October 2003 showed that humans underestimate the size of traffic lights from various distances. This failure of size constancy, as the study calls it, was examined among four groups of people who viewed traffic lights from 66 feet, or 20 meters, 197 feet, or 60 meters, and 394 feet, or 120 meters away. Each group gauged the size of the light differently, with one group relying on memory, another choosing from a selection of comparison circles, so on and so forth. The results showed that all four groups estimated the size of the traffic light's lenses at around 30% smaller than their actual diameter, showing that our perception of them is unreliable from at least as far as 66 feet or 20 meters away. If you've ever seen a traffic light up close at ground level, you probably don't find this hard to believe. The main two sizes of three-lens traffic lights that are used throughout the world have lenses that are either 8 inches, 20.3 centimeters, or a foot, 30.5 centimeters in diameter. Lights with 8-inch lenses stand at approximately 30 inches tall, or 76.2 centimeters, and a 9.5 inches wide, or 24.1 centimeters. The 12-inch pattern lights are 42 inches, or 106 centimeters tall, and 13 and a half inches, or 34 centimeters wide, much larger than they seem from a distance. Big cities in the US, like New York and Los Angeles, tend to opt for the larger model due to the high volumes of traffic because they're easier to see from a distance. In the United Kingdom, the 8-inch version is more popular due to the use of highly visible specialty lenses. There are other types of traffic lights, including hybrid versions that use a combination of 8 and 12-inch lenses, which are sometimes used in Canada. Whatever the case, the study shows that regardless of the traffic light's actual dimensions, it appears deceptively small from below. Number 5. Wombats Wombats are lovely little nocturnal marsupials that live in the mountains, forests and grasslands of Australia and Tasmania. Built for burrowing, they are equipped with compact heads, short legs, and strong claws, and they walk with a bit of a waddle. At first glance, wombats seem cute, cuddly, and very small, maybe the size of a fat mouse. But they actually grow as big as a medium-sized dog. There are three species, the northern hairy-nosed wombat, the southern hairy-nosed wombat, and the common wombat, all of which reach 30 inches or 76 centimeters long on average and typically weigh between 55 and 85 pounds, or 25 to 40 kilos. Their size varies with their distribution, according to the Australian Museum, with Tasmanian specimens usually being on the smaller end of their size range. Females are usually bigger than males, although it's difficult to truly gauge this tendency due to the differences in size based on region. As of 2015, the world's largest living wombat was Patrick, a lifelong resident of the Ballarat Wildlife Park in Victoria, who weighed 84 pounds or 38 kilos at the time of reporting. At 29 years of age, he was also the world's oldest living member of his species. 4. The Star-Spangled Banner September 14, 1814, during the War of 1812 Battle of Baltimore, Francis Scott Key looked up at the garrison flag flying over Port McHenry in Baltimore Harbor. Filled with patriotism by the sight, as well as the American victory, he sat down and penned what eventually became the American national anthem, known as the Star-Spangled Banner. In 1813, the government commissioned local flag maker Mary Young Pickersgill to sew a flag so large the British would have no difficulty seeing it from a distance. In the words of Fort McHenry commander Major George Armistead, it's the only American flag with 15 stripes and its immense size came at the hefty cost of nearly $406, around $5,450 in today's money. Measuring 30 by 42 feet, or 9.1 by 12.8 meters, the flag was adorned with two foot wide, or 61 centimeter stripes, and stars measuring two feet long, or 61 centimeters in diameter. 
Today, it's slightly smaller due to wear and tear, measuring 30 by 34 feet, 9.1 by 10.4 meters, but it's still massive, and up close, it looks as big as it is. Like other garrison flags, the Star Spangled Banner was noticeably larger than typical flags when hoisted on a pole, and like smaller flags, however, it's much larger than it looks from a distance. Anyone who wants to see the Star Spangled Banner for themselves can visit the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History in Washington, D.C., where it remains on display following an extensive recent renovation project. 3. Road Lines Driving down the highway, the intermittent lines in the centre of the road look pretty tiny, with the average person estimating their length at around 2 feet or 61 centimetres. But federal guidelines actually require these lines to be 10 feet or 3 metres long, and our tendency to misjudge their length points towards the more concerning possibility that we are driving too fast, according to a 2014 Association for Psychological Science article. Psychological scientist Dennis Schaffer began researching the topic during the 1990s as a graduate student at Arizona State University when federal guidelines required road stripes to be 15 feet or 4.6 meters long. By the time he finished, he was an assistant professor at Ohio State University and the length requirement had shrunk to 10 feet or 3 meters. His research consisted of a series of experiments involving 400 participants who were asked to judge the size of road stripes from 60 feet, 18 meters, or 120 feet, 36.6 meters away, and also while riding in a car going either 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers an hour, or 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour. On average, the students estimated the lines at 2 feet or 61 centimetres long in all three of the experiments, including back when the lines were longer. Schaffer concluded that for whatever reason, humans tend to erroneously perceive geometry. This concept, known as size constancy, causes us to see certain objects as being the same size no matter how close or distant we are from them. When it comes to driving, our inability to see things as they are is concerning because it seems like we're covering the same amount of ground no matter how fast we're going. 2. Anglerfish There are over 200 species of anglerfish in the world's oceans, lurking up to a mile or 1.6 kilometers below the water's surface. To put it bluntly, these deep dwellers are known for being outright hideous, with a gaping mouth full of translucent, razor-sharp teeth and a strange-looking probe protruding from the head. Anglerfish resemble something out of a horror movie or the scene in Finding Nemo. Most are relatively small, growing no more than a foot or 30 centimeters long, and females are often many times larger than the males. But some anglerfish can reach nearly four feet or one meter in length, which is roughly the equivalent of a six or seven-year-old child's height and weigh as much as 110 pounds or 50 kilos. The biggest species, known as warty sea devils, hail from the Satyridae family. In recent weeks, a monstrous-looking anglerfish species known as the Pacific football fish washed ashore on California's Newport Beach. At 18 inches or 45.7 centimeters long, it was larger than average, and scientists jumped at the chance to study the seldom-seen creature. Number 1. Titanic When the Titanic set sail in 1912, it was the largest luxury ship ever built. Measuring 882 feet or 269 meters long, 92 feet or 28 meters wide, and 175 feet or 53 meters high. The world marveled at the ship's enormity and we still recognize it for its size today. But the Titanic was actually quite small compared to many of today's cruise ships. Take, for example, the world's largest modern cruise vessel, Named the Symphony of the Seas, this Royal Caribbean ship is over twice as wide as the Titanic. Its gross tonnage is more than five times that of the Titanic, and with a carrying capacity of 6,680 passengers, it can hold nearly 4,250 more people. Symphony of the Seas has 18 decks, double the amount of the Titanic, and has 24 pools, a full-size basketball court, rock climbing walls, movie screenings, live performances, a mini golf course, a carousel, an ice skating rink, and other amenities that would never have fit on the Titanic, which in comparison had a measly heated pool, squash court, Turkish bath, billiards, and a gym. 
But at 984 feet or 300 meters long, even the shortest vessel on today's list of the 64 largest cruise ships is over 100 feet or 30.5 meters longer than the Titanic. Simply put, as famous as the Titanic is for its size, it's dwarfed by more than a handful of modern vessels, which would have left the ill-fated passengers of 1912 in complete shock and awe. Thanks for watching. Did you know the actual size of anything on this list? Let me know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time!